Hello, welcome to another episode of New Gameplay Today. I'm your host, Jeff Cork, joined today by Leo Vader. Wow, thanks for having me. Hey. We're opening here with Imran's here. 360 no-scope of the civilian, which was pretty cool. A little slow-mo 360 no-scope. What? Wait a second. All right, so <laughs> joining us also, history's greatest monster in the running, at least, Imran Khan. This is good because it doesn't show the time I accidentally ran over the dog in this hub. Oh, I cut that out because it distressed me so much. <laughs> it was very much an accident. I didn't mean to do it. That's uh -huh. what I was concerned about. The I'm glad to hear it was an there. accident. It was just there repeatedly. Or so I've but yeah, I was, I was curious if you could kill NPCs, and apparently you can. All right, so killing NPCs, running over dogs. Leo, Emron, what game are we talking about? What is this? This is Far Cry 5. Far Cry 5. And you recently played this in an event, and we're looking at... Footage of you being a big maniac. Uh, more or less, yeah. I was. I think I, I, think I was walking towards a mission because I was running over too many things when I was using the uh, vehicle. Okay. And Smart. You, you basically just got kicked out of the vehicle. They're like, okay, you've had enough, sir. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. And I believe this mission was to liberate a uh, a plane that was being stolen by the rival cult, which is taken over a small town in Montana. So. They are currently attacking this guy and trying to steal his plane. Okay. So I he called for help, and that's what I came in with a sniper rifle to do. Okay, excellent. So you are you are helping because you do not want them to steal the plane. Did Ideally, you, yes. Did you hate these cultists? Were they a good enemy? Um, they're fine. Like most of them look the same, which I thought was weird. Hmm. There were beards. occasional times where I'd shoot somebody, and then, like, the guy, I, his identical twin, would just come running down <laughs> next to him. Oh. Brother! <laughs> <laughs> so, talk to me about this session where you're playing. Was it basically like a, here you go from the start of the game, enjoy yourself for this allotted amount of time, or did they kind of throw you into the middle? Like, how did this so work? The, the E3 demo, there was a place, you, the actual gameplay loop of that was you liberate a place called Falls End, which is that hub area we were in and I accidentally shot somebody in before. Accidentally. Uh, <laughs> this game takes place after that liberation. Okay. So the demo starts you off with a number of guns, a number of skills. All I really did at the outset was choose what gender my character was. All right. But so how was that for you? I mean, I'm actually a little disappointed there's not like a main character for the game. Okay. That you just, you kind of create a character and uh -huh. then... They're completely silent. Okay, so you're basically I'm guy or gal, and then yes, there much. you go. Okay, is there more customization than that, or is that the PD. only choice? That was the only choice in the demo. There might be sure. more choices in the actual like final game. Okay, that's cool. That guy's rem remarkably calm about that. Okay, now he's he's lost his mind again. Good. Good. <laughs> All right. He's he's a pill. <laughs> <laughs> How's the uh, gun feel? The gun feel is fine. It feels exactly like every other Far Cry. Okay. We, which is kind of this demo in a nutshell, is that it's exactly like every other Far Cry. Yes, the grappling is back. I love the verticality of Far Cry 4, but it seems like it might be hard to recreate that. Except they got mountains in Montana. Yeah. Yeah, and there's planes. So Big you sky. can jump out of it. There you go. Yeah. Is this sponsored by the Tourism Board of Montana? I don't think they're super keen on the idea of the <laughs> doomsday cult taking over a small town. Yeah. Sure. But if it they were, then yes, it would be perfect for them. Now, I don't want to spoil this video, but do you get into an airplane? Will we see footage of the airplane? Yes. I, yes. <laughs> All right. Excellent. I'm excited to see because, like, the one thing I've had a difficult time wrapping my mind around with this is, like, as with every other Far Cry or just open world games in general, is, like, how big the place is. You know, like how much room I have to, to mess around. And particularly when you introduce an airplane, that kind of throws a wrinkle into things. You know, you want it to be like a manageable level where you feel like you're able to go from one place to the next mm -hmm. uh, on foot. But you'd also don't want to end up getting in an airplane and slam into an invisible wall seconds. What is that? <laughs> uh, apparently, this is the part where I'm fighting a bear. Okay, well, I that? came across a bear and the bear just started attacking me. Granted, I did hit it with a few arrows. I'm not sure if that problem Okay, just started. Like okay. Mm. Interesting. But yeah, this this actually is my favorite part of the demo, because at this point the bear starts running away. And this is and where like, most people would be like, okay, this encounter with the bear is done. Right. I decided to pursue it because I want to know why it's running away, and then it just explodes. What? 
<laughs> what? <laughs> I perused this footage. I don't know why it exploded. When I actually went down to actual like go see what the deal was, yeah, because I, I didn't know the Baron was dead for sure, but apparently I just ran headlong into an exploding barrel. Oh man! Oh, like a propane tank. It looked like. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Never do but that. Yeah, that that like reminds me. I need to be more. The bear explode. I need to be more careful when I run around. <laughs> That's one so of the possible. So at this point, I'm actually going to go get the plane back that the uh, quest giver asked me to do. Okay. Uh, they told me it's better to go in quiet, but I accidentally got saw or seen on the first guy I killed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Play your at own that way. point, the immediate thing to do was kill everybody. That makes sense. Ideally, you don't want to set off the uh, alarm in every combat situation. Hmm. But I managed to luck my way into the actual garage the plane was in, despite not knowing that. Huh. <laughs> this seems like your character life is just this thing that happens to him or her. At mm -hmm. least the way that Imran is playing, is that does that seem fair? Yeah, more or less. It's basically <laughs> John Wick if the player had, like, complete agency to do whatever they wanted. Okay. <laughs> and if John Wick hated dogs instead of liking them a lot. Yeah, and guys leaning against walls, minding their own business in the hub. <laughs> oh, well. So, yeah, the, at this point, I just decided to take off because I wasn't going to fight all those guys there. Did you just attempt to ram an ATV in the airplane as I, you're trying to take off at the same time? I did. It okay. mostly worked. And, and a truck. <laughs> what is going <laughs> on? You into the air for a quick takeoff. Does it have, like, monster truck tires? Hmm, I mean, must. it's Far Cry physics, so whenever you ram anything, you're either going to immediately win or immediately lose. I took a gamble <laughs> and it won. Good Everything's point. coming up in run. So for, like, the next five minutes of this demo, mm -hmm. he, uh, the quest giver tells you to put the plane to its paces so he can make sure they didn't mess with it, oh. which is basically just a plane tutorial. Uh, and speaking of plane, flying through rings, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very pilot wings. Yeah. So I don't know. I guess it's better that they give you this at the beginning, and then hopefully that's the end of it. It's like... If you if you just want to crash planes from now on, knock yourself out. But I don't ever want to fly through a ring again if I can avoid it. But these ones are made of smoke, so it's fine. That's actually a really smart point. I retract my previous cynicism. <laughs> At some point, they do ask you to like start blowing up silos. Okay, which is more fun than it should seem. Oh yeah, that's always fun. Look at that. Classic. Good looking explosions. And do you know if you can destroy those on the ground too with the regular explosives? You can. And when I was playing in co-op mode, which they didn't let us take footage of, but mm -hmm. we can post impressions, is that I just found an RPG somewhere and just started standing on the back of a truck and blowing up uh, silos. Fantastic. So in co-op mode, in an, can you get in like two people in an airplane? Is this like a biplane scenario? Yeah, you can get scenario? two people in any vehicle, I believe. Any vehicle. Very nice. I think those are the so twins you were part, talking about they on had the floor, me, right? uh, securing the guy's house uh -huh. because the cult is still after him. Which is actually a fairly fun thing, an open thing, because they will try and take the house and kill everybody in it. Yeah. So just sort of standing in front and blowing people away would seem like the best method. It seems like a very beardist game, which I'm, I don't know if I can get behind, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> the cult is big on beards. Yeah. The main villain has them, the side villain has them, uh -huh. almost every other enemy has them. Does the main character, if you choose to play as a male, have a beard? I believe so. Okay. I think I did it in my co-op partner, but had beards. Okay, Whoa. good. You got to blend in. Character drama. <laughs> exactly. Conflict. So you started off with some of your skills unlocked. Were you able to mess around with things in the skill tree and kind of tweak them to your desire? or? I got a couple of skill points, but a lot of it just seemed like you get more resources from this or oh, okay. you can now stealth kill a little bit better. Uh, and I mostly went in loud because it's a demo. Uh-huh. So that didn't appeal to me greatly, but there was stuff like you use less gas and so, things like that. So uh, all that seemed pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah. Now, like, every time I've gotten a demo for a Far Cry, it is difficult to not just immediately go in guns blazing and be a big stupid idiot because you feel like there's very little at stake. And I think that you were kind of talking about that with the skill tree thing just a second ago. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. Leo... Hmm. What do you think? Are you a silent guy? Do you like to go in guns blazing? Typically? I try to be a silent for as long as I can. Yeah? But it, it'll very rarely last the whole time. But boy, it feels good when it does. Yeah. And these games have always been good about making both options feel good and be very fun. Mm -hmm. 
the good thing about Far Cry and Silence is that they are still in this game. The thing where they have caged up animals and you can just shoot the cage open and oh, watch yeah. the animals. Yep. Like kill the entire base. I think the moment they discovered that you could do that, it, that's when the series really came into its own. <laughs> just, it just became a game about watching animals run around and kill the bad guys for you. Right. That established the formula. For sure. But it also kind of makes less sense in this game because, like, I understand why you'd cage up an elephant. Yeah. It doesn't make a ton of sense why you just cage up a wolf and, like, not even secure the cage that well. <laughs> <laughs> and just, like, insist on huddling around that cage with four of your friends <laughs> just standing there all the time. Right. Oh, dear. I... So they very conveniently gave you a sniper rifle in this section. Uh huh. And despite knowing that you have a sniper rifle and being shot by a sniper rifle, several guys just kind of stand out in the middle. And, like, shoot at you with a pistol. Oh! That's very kind of them. Maybe they're just in such disbelief that anyone would dare resist the cult. Oh! Like, what? <laughs> I have no idea what that guy was thinking. But... <laughs> that car went out of its way to run over that guy. <laughs> anyway, ooh, plane oh, action. Back to the airplane. Oh, right, I got a plane stuck at some point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I may have been a little fast skimming through this footage and putting it together. Well, I drove it into a forest just to see if I could. All right. Got it stuck. So fans of uh, f flying planes into forests, look forward to that. So you've got a dog with you now. Is that correct? Yeah, I believe I've already gotten Boomer at this point in the demo. Cool. So he just kind of follows around and, like, takes out enemies or stays silent, as the case may be. Yeah, so we'll see more of him in a couple minutes here. And then this, at this point, There's you become very scared of anything. for Boomer. Okay, good. I was going to ask about that. Very important. Okay, you're just yeah. going to hang out in that crate. That's I don't want to <laughs> hang out in the crate yet. Now, is there like a county fair size prize champion blue ribbon size pumpkin you could hide in? Because that would be pretty cool. <laughs> mm. The pumpkins are not as destructible as I would like. I tried shooting them, and they just kind of fell apart. Hmm. So do you know why it just popped up there that Boomer is now available as Fangs for Hire? Is that something different? Uh, that doesn't like it means he's within your like. Uh, you can choose partners in this game. Mm -hmm. So the pilot guy you can add to it, so he'll carpet bomb stuff. Boomer will like actually stand by you and attack enemies for you. So you can map them to the D pad. Cool. That guy had a cougar skull on him, huh? All right. Yeah. So like, there's cult VIPs. Yeah. Which are just enemies that give you like resistance points, which uh, help turn the tide of war. Uh huh. So the weirder looking ones that hold up signs like that and mm -hmm. have skulls, you can uh, kill them for more points. Okay, and presumably you're still uh, wandering around the the streams and byways of Montana killing eels and other things to build new wallets, and, and that loop is still intact, presumably? Yeah, pretty much. I saw a bunch of wolves. I haven't seen many animals besides that. Okay. But I'm willing to bet there's a bunch that will just ruin your day. Okay. Mm. I wish they could all be your friends. Yeah, you sh you might enjoy. Yeah, Far Cry Primal. Oh yeah. So this mission was to retrieve a tr a big rig truck that a woman's father owned. Okay. Mm. And apparently the cult has just stolen as well. So this is the first one I had with Boomer, so I decided to stick him on the enemy and see how well that worked. Are uh, really well apparently, <laughs> as it turns out. Like, the enemies actually don't really know what to do when a dog attacks somebody. <laughs> They're only used to dogs in cages. Oh, no. That, that might be the whole reason for the cage. Yeah. Yeah, I, I love everything about that. <laughs> Our... So oh. he just kills them by himself if you don't interject, right? Or do you, does yeah. he need you to finish him off? I assume some enemies can be, like, can, like, shoot him off or kick him off or something like that, but... If I just left him there, he'll go ahead and kill them. And then he rushes to meet me, so I actually know where to go. <laughs> and he'll retrieve guns and other things for you, too, right? Yeah, when there's no more enemies around, he'll just go around and pick up ammo and weapons. Uh, and I love it. It's the best. If you're That's a big, great. lazy person like me, it's great. So that message tells me that there's a stash of resources around here somewhere. Uh huh. So okay. I figure it's probably up in that tower, and I'm going to go check that out. But first... I wanted, there's a wolf there, and I kind of don't want that to get out when there's no enemies around. What oh, a dumb no. way to so close that only cage. Humane thing. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. And it doesn't that actually kind of, like, dead. die. It just sort of, like, gets dizzy. 
<laughs> oh, so you just knocked him out. You got a, a, okay. That's I feel better about that. You got a fatal case of the disease. <laughs> it was just a guy slumped in the corner. That I never wasn't able to figure out what the deal with that was. Hmm. Oh, I hear a him. And this pipe was this your only melee option? I believe so. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, you have a like your fist, but the pipe is way cooler and right. stronger. Yes, definitely. Oh, this part. Uh, I didn't act, so this wasn't explained to me. But there's you mean as a kid? (laughs) Have you seen my girl? (laughs) I figured that was the only way to get through. I didn't know you could walk around it. Uh Uh, So like, there's a prompt to get the bees off you, but if you're just standing where they are, it doesn't really help that much. (laughs) So I escape, and then. I believe there's more beehives that I don't know. Oh. <laughs> so I just run head first into it. All right. Sad. And you, Imran, the Game Informer difference is that uh, Leo always edits these videos in such a way that you look like a big hero. So you're welcome for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn that into I mean, an action montage. Yeah. There Literally, my only request was put in the bear exploding. Yep. And other than that, I had no other... Our suggestions. Perfect. We appreciate your lack of notes. And Imran, we appreciate you playing Far Cry 5 and providing us with this bounty of footage. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Leo, thanks for pushing buttons and being you. My pleasure. Thanks, Imran. Yeah, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye!